The fashion collection in and of itself really began when uh, the estate of Norman Norell donated uh, five pieces to the IMA. That was sort of a departure point where uh, a decision was made curatorially to focus on the designs of Indiana designers. Norman Norell, Bill Blass, Halston, and Steven Sprouse. They all had very different aesthetics, but had a very clear vision and a strong work ethic. As a designer working um, during the war and even in the post-war, but particularly during the war, um, Norell perfected the use of simple fabrics like jersey in evening wear, which was not something that was done or accepted. You know, so he sort of had to be resourceful and, and ingenious in the way that he created this clothing. And women, you know, really responded to that. They were timeless. Glass is known for incorporating elements of menswear in his design. He used tailoring techniques in unexpected ways. Halston is a minimalist. Unnecessary closures or any types of, you know, frills or darting, things of that nature, um, he just, he didn't use it. And so he became very well versed in the art of draping and pattern making. All three of the older designers were, you know, influential in Sprouse's development. From Halston, he learned the art of fine construction, coupled with never compromising on the quality of fabrics that you use. Sprouse was a designer who really looked to the streets for his inspiration. The exhibition provides a survey of you know, American fashion from the 1950s to 2000. To look at all of the pieces in the show, you're able to sort of see that historical transformation in clothing.